Hey everybody, it's your buddy Eric, and this is an Honest 5 for March 27th, 2020. Um, I got to play the uh, Bravely second uh, demo yesterday. I was eventually going to not do that because, um, you know, no spoilers, of course. But then again, you know, like the game is going to, um, you know, it's doing it like they did with the original one, which was, uh, you know, there's the demo, and the demo just like doesn't quite exactly represent the uh, final game, so you know, it's fine. Um, people are saying that they did this with the original two, but I found it, I mean, it's been really, really hard. Like, it's just been like, you're like, yeah, I'll just go out and I'll uh, beat up on the enemies and like then go through the dungeon. And, like, no, I got my ass handed to me like several times. Like, I just got like wiped, party wiped out. I'm like, all right, cool. So let's be careful and do stuff. And like, but like, you know, getting to mess with the system and do some changes and, um, obviously going from the two screens to one um some ui changes but um the one thing that kind of bugged me is that like in i think it was at least second if not uh for the sequel you could flick the command and then brave and that would repeat that command but this one just um as the brave counter um i think they are taking um feedback uh, they did at least for the other ones i'm pretty sure they're doing it for this one so pretty sure people will talk about that in the feedback i know i will and just like um you know Hopefully they'll they'll make that tweak. Um, obviously, UI tweaks are not necessarily the most easiest thing to do, but this one should, you know, I think they've done it before, so I think they'll be able to find it. Or maybe people didn't like that. Um, I don't think that makes sense. I think it was um, maybe it was a little counter. No, yeah, it was counterintuitive because like if you're in if you're in the middle of a command, you would just hit the brave and it would repeat it. And if you were at the first command, that's when you could stack up raids to do that thing. I can see how it could be a little bit frustrating either way, but um, but yeah um. It's, uh, you know, it's not the uh, simplest thing in the world, obviously, but it is doable. I mean, nothing's not doable, especially since it's been done before. But that was fun. Um, I did play that after a slightly disappointing league yesterday. Um, I did, uh, I recorded another um, Legacy League of Ant. Um, after my 4-1 last week, uh, I did a 2-3 uh, yesterday. I was not very happy with it at all. Um, I slightly different list but um I don't know I just felt like rusty isn't the wrong word but like just like I just felt like I was either making the wrong choices or things just weren't going my way and I don't know but um I did have fun with these and two three at least I get like half of my you know entry back which is nice um so that's a thing to think about but I'll do, edit up that video today and uh, put it up and it's always fun to do I'm just trying to make more content you know um, working on my game still, getting a little bit done with that, and, um, you know, just working on the game, and, um, you know, just, but, like, the problem is with the game is that, like, I get, I get to the point where, like, I'm just, like, 100% I have to be creative, like, the coding goes down a lot, and I have to be creative, and that's, it's impossible, like, I do creative stuff all the time, but it's just, like, I don't know, like, with coding, like, it just feels like, you know, it feels like either I need to recode it or it's fine and I just have to work with the, the data structures in different ways or maybe, I don't know, then I just start second guessing myself and I'm like, am I actually doing anything worthwhile with my time? You know, it's not it's not making me money, it's no guarantee to make me money. And then it's like, well, you know, why should I do anything if it's not making me money? And it's like, well, that's well, you can do things for fun. And then it just starts to get all over panicking and overthinking stuff and it's like, yeah, I just need to set timers and, uh, you know, work, and that's uh, the best, really the best way to do these kind of things, is just set a timer and do it, um, it's, it feels kind of silly, but you just set a, you know, 15 minute or a half hour timer, even 8 minutes, so it can be fine, you know, I learned this from some stuff from years back, but just like, you know, set a little timer, you say, I want to work on this for this amount of time, right, and even if you just open the file and stare at it for a little bit, sometimes it gets some juice for it flowing or get something going. If you hear some clacking, that's me cleaning my brush. Um, I don't know if this is the best way to clean a brush, but I don't know. I was just um, feeling very, um, feeling very uh, um, on on edge is the wrong word, but you know, jumpy maybe. Feeling a little jumpy. Um, you know, it's just like. Uh, I realized that, like, you know, like, not that I exercise a lot to begin with, but, like, you know, teaching, I move around a lot, and, you know, with not teaching for the past while, like, I just, I've been mostly sitting, and, like, I've been trying to walk at least a little bit a day and do some exercises, but, like, you know, just, it's just such a big change that, like, you know, maybe that's part of the reason why I don't feel good, but...
trying to keep busy and trying to work as best as I can and trying to keep myself healthy, as healthy as possible, right? That's all we can really do.